You gonna go see uh, uh, Slipknot tonight? Well, Slipknot? Slipknot? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm taking my mother to Slipknot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get her really drunk for you, but yeah, I'm gonna go to Slipknot. Yeah, and we're going to dress up nice, too. Like, so I'm gonna, i got a great leather mask I'm going to put on. <laughs> what's the most you ever made gambling? And what's the most you ever lost? Like 200 bucks. Yeah. All on the same night, right? <laughs> yeah. You gotta go and know what you're gonna lose. Well, I was on tour once in Omaha, Nebraska. And Harris had just ripped me off mercilessly for about $400 about a month before. And there was a Harris sitting right there in Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> Should I go to Harris tonight? Yeah, because yeah, I need revenge. Yeah. <laughs> I walked into Harris. I only play the slots because of how, how good the odds are. Yeah. <laughs> and I put money in. I, the one arm banded. Two poles, I was $125 up. I went, thank you. <laughs> that machine's toast. It's not going to give you anything but heartache from now on. So I went to another one. <laughs> Got another 75 bucks. I was like up about whatever, 200 some odd dollars. I walked right out of there in about 14 minutes. <laughs> Grabbed a cab, gave a nice big fat tip. Went and had a nice big fat steak, a couple of drinks, in cash. Courtesy of Harris! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sons of bitches stole my money. <laughs> <laughs> Still down <coughs> thousands of dollars. <laughs> sure, gambling. Fine man's job. We're almost done. We are done. Let's do three more insightful questions and we'll get you guys out of here. Yes, sir, Mr. Lazy Pants. <laughs> Ozzie Davis from, uh, from Bubba Hotel. Yeah. Ozzie Davis' first movie was 1945. Uh, nothing phased the guy. You know, when I worked with him, I think he was 84. And the first scene we had with him, okay, Ozzie, you're face down on the floor here. He went, oh, okay. Take a picture down, face for the guy who's won numerous awards, president awards, this and that, and I kept, every day, I kept going, Ossie, what? Take a picture. Why are you here? <laughs> Why are you in this movie? He kept going, my grandchildren told me to do it. He had no idea what kind of a movie it was. He didn't know it would be the classic Bubba yeah, Hotel. The on. <laughs> so, no, Ossie was great. You know, some guys who... The longer they've been around, the more normal they are, because they kind of know what to worry about and what not to worry about. It's the 20-year-olds to worry about. Yeah. It's the young punk actors between these 20 and 30, like that guy who came up on stage with me, you know, that jerk <laughs> kid. <laughs> Those are the ones to worry about. All right, second to last question. Anything burning, deep, insightful? Yes. Black no. <laughs> yes. How do I feel about what? Remakes, I'm on the fence because we're right in the middle of trying to decide whether to do a remake of Evil Dead. No, no. I know, I, I know, people hate the idea. But I got a kid in college. Where are you, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> so screw you, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But generally, I'm, I'm more against them than for them because I feel that all filmmakers should just try and do something original and make everybody copy you. You know, we did the first Evil Dead, it did fine. We did a film called Crime Wave, written by the Coen Brothers, which died. And we went, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, let's make another Evil Dead movie. <laughs> Evil Dead 2 was born, which is a lot of people, some of their favorite, it's their favorite of the trilogy. And we made another couple of movies, which I'm sure died. And we went, mm -hmm, Army of Darkness, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's a, there's a reality of, with movies of, you know, um, making a living versus making stuff that's creative, and hopefully you can do both. So, perhaps the last question here, the last question, yes? What name comes to mind when I ask who's the funnest actor you've ever worked with? The funnest actor I've ever worked with. The most fun, the most entertaining, what name comes that's to mind? That's tough, because entertaining yeah, actors are, yeah, sometimes yeah. are not the good ones. They tell that? stories on set. Oh yeah, yeah, then I'm shooting this movie. Yeah, bah, 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 bah. And then they suck because they don't know their lines. Because right. <laughs> they're telling stories all the time. <laughs> Jennifer Jason Lee. Oh, really? In the Hot Sucker Proxy, she had a million lines of dialogue. A million. And she knew them six months before we shot. We rehearsed. The Coen brothers liked to rehearse for a couple of weeks. And in rehearsals, she had no script. 
I'm like, Jennifer, did you forget your script? She goes, mm, mm. Tim Robbins is like, uh, 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 what, what scene are we on? I'm like, hey, what are we doing? What's your name? Hello? So she, I got nervous working with her because I knew she would never blow her line. Ever. I usually don't get nervous. I usually try and have fun, but I'm like, this chick's scary. She's scary. <laughs> so it really brings your game up. Yeah. When somebody else has their game up, you, you bring your game up. So she was terrific. There's no point talking about all the jerks in the industry. Yeah, <laughs> there's no point talking about the assholes. There's too many. It's okay. It's fine. I want to, guys, I want to thank you for a couple of things. Thank you for supporting this place, this venue, this convention, because not every movie can be a, uh, a, a Tom Cruise movie, thankfully. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's important for every uh, A movie, it's important to have a B movie to make up for the A movies. Because the A movies aren't always the most creative. B movies sometimes you will find will be the most inventive, the most creative, the most daring, the most disturbing, the most whatever, because they aspire to do more. So I think that B movies actually tend to entertain people more than A movies, because A movies are very concerned about every little tiny thing. They don't want to offend anybody. You know, a friend of mine edit, he, a friend of mine wrote the, a movie, the, the Rookie, with Clint Eastwood. And in their original draft, Clint Eastwood dies at the end. And the executives were like, "We love your script. We love your script, but you, you, you got to change the end. Clint doesn't die. Clint needs to be around for sequels and remakes and etc. Cetera, etc." Cetera. So, yet in a B movie, they would have shot it just like it was. So, you know, I appreciate everything that you guys do to support the alternative industry because that's the way you get variety in your entertainment. And if you, if you didn't like Batman 1, don't see Batman 2. <laughs> I, I love the fact that the newest Batman, oh, these are good ones. <laughs> uh, which versions are you talking about, you know? I got the Joker sitting right here. <laughs> he approves. Anyway. So thanks for supporting alternative cinema and events like this because that's where the cool stuff is. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.